Hi guys, Knife Detector here, and I've got an interesting one for you today. You know, my attitude towards knives has always been that I've never met a knife that I didn't like. And that's always held true for me, not just with knives, but, uh, you know, with people too. But occasionally, you know, I found with people sometimes you can meet some bad apples. Well, I had never had that happen to me with a knife until this knife right here. Now, this knife is from the brand Buckshot. And with the name Buck in it, I thought to myself, well, self, maybe the quality is just as good as uh, Buck Knives. You know, with the brand name Buck, this is Buck Shot. Now, with this particular brand, uh, I was fooled. Uh, yes, they are made in China, but I never hold that against a knife if it's made in another country. I always want to try out the knife first to see what it's like. And this knife to me was somewhat aesthetically pleasing, especially since I really was interested in chopper style knives and I had never really gotten a chopper style knife until I got this guy. Now I've had it for a while. I've been reluctant in making a video on it uh, simply because, you know, I didn't know what angle I was going to take on it. Uh, I don't want to be negative in any way, but I don't like this knife and I'm going to tell you why. First off, let me tell you, I paid 12 bucks for this knife on eBay. And those 12 bucks, you know, I think I can get my money's worth because I'm going to use it as a utility knife, probably outdoors. But this is what I don't like about it. What I thought was cool about it was this lever. It's a spring-operated knife also. It's spring-loaded, uh, assist, easy assist with the spring. And it's also got thumb studs, dual thumb studs, and it's got a clip, right? Well, here's my problem. If I go to use this lever and hold this knife like most people would, you'd flip the lever and then, bam, it gets caught right here. Right where most people need it to be, this is where the lever gets caught. I think to myself, self, well, let me just use the thumb stud and try and move my finger a little further back. And sure enough, I did, and bam, still pinches it uh, even more at that point. So at that point, I started to get to the impression, you know, get the impression, you know what, maybe this is not... A good knife. Maybe this is one of those rare occasions where I actually find a bad apple. And I think that's what happened. Aside from that, take a look at the knife. You can see why I got it. Look at the blade, guys. It's a good looking blade. I like the shape of that blade. I like that chopper design. Heck, I even like the color of the wood handle. Uh, but when that started happening, I started to think to myself, self, I think I got a rotten apple here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a modification on this knife just so I can make it usable. So that when I open it, I don't have to do two-handed, which is one way to go. You really have to move your hand way down here not to get it pinched. Like so. You see, because even when you're holding it down here at two-thirds, then you can still almost get pinched. You know, so you really have to be careful with this knife holding it. And that just doesn't make sense. Most people want to hold it here. Hence, you know, the jimping right here. You want to hold the knife in this position so you're going to be there. But unfortunately, that covers this piece right there. And you're always going to get pinched right there. So if you want to hold it here, look out because you're going to get pinched. You're either going to get pinched here or you're going to get pinched right here. So you got to be real careful if you happen to buy this knife from Buckshot. And uh, let's take a look at this knife. There it says right there, Buckshot. You got the bear emblem, which I think is pretty cool. Here it says, USA Design, crafted in China, 3CR13 Steel, is what it says. Now, I do like the shape of the blade. That's how thick it is. For those of you guys that are into checking centering and stuff like that, let me show you that. Mm, not right on. What I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to modify this knife. You really have to be careful. So I'm going to move my hand way down here before I try and set off the spring. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, with my Dremel, cut off up to about here. And I think that if I cut off to here, the knife will still function correctly, and I will also be able to use it correctly without injuring myself. Because check this out. That lever right there serves as a kind of like a detent for the blade, and it stops it. That's what helps stop the blade and keep it from going full circle and just flipping further back than it's supposed to. So where does that reach? It reaches about right here to this point. But I'm going to take off the first two. I don't want to be too greasy. Greedy? <laughs> greasy. Then I'm going to go ahead and try and smooth that out, guys. So uh, the next part of my video will be me doing that. Let's see what happens.
Okay guys, so here it is. After those quick mods, this is what it looks like. And this is how much I took off. This little chunk right here. This little dude was the little piece that was pinching my finger. So now let's check it out and let's see if this thing opens like a champ, if it opens like it should. First, let's do uh, the lever. Let's see if there's any lever left there. Nope, the lever's pretty much a non-issue. Can't flip that anymore. But you got your thumb studs perfectly. Look at that, just the right amount of clearance. Let's close it and do it again. Little flick. No pinching problem anymore. Very nice. Okay, guys, so that's it. That's it for my video. Uh, unless you have incredibly long thumbs, I wouldn't get this knife because it's gonna pinch you. If you have a really long thumb, you can hold it from here and then whip it out this way. But my thumb just isn't crazy long like that, as I expect most people are not either. Okay, so this is the knife detector saying stay safe, stay safe, guys. <laughs> stay sharp. And please like and subscribe my channel. Take care. God bless.